Hello, my name is Harrison Merle, and this is my informative speech over long-distance relationships. Long-distance relationships among college students have been a more common occurrence than they have been in the previous decades. With the advances in technology, geographical distance between couples no longer necessitates the ending of a relationship. It is estimated that nearly one-third of college students will be in some form of a long-distance relationship. <laughs> I have been in a long distance relationship for over two years and I see us lasting many more. I put a lot of time and effort into my relationship. This is when, I, when we first met. The two side pictures are during prom. This one is during the Renaissance Festival and this is during our one year. Today I will inform you about what a long distance relationship is, why some fail and why others succeed. In order to talk about long distance relationships, we must first know what they are. So what is a real long distance relationship and how does it care, compare to a close proximity relationship? A long distance relationship is defined as living further than a 50 mile radius from your partner. This is Lake Jackson and this is a 50 mile radius from there. So if you live, if your partner lives further than that, then you're in a long distance relationship. They typically occur by meeting someone online, leaving home for college, and while in a relationship, or military deployment. Being in a long distance relationship creates a unique set of challenges. A thorough college relationship study investigated long distance relationships to be able to feel, to be able to understand the feeling of being in one. It was discovered that 20% of those who had previously been in a close proximity relationship had additional stress due to being physically apart. 20% also stated that being apart makes any difficulties in their relationship so much more difficult. Compared to a close proximity relationship, satisfaction levels were negligible and stronger feelings of commitment, quality of time together, as well as a stronger bond was found in a long distance relationship. However, those in a long distance relationship had higher levels of neediness, jealousy, uncertainty of the future of the relationship, and loneliness. Being a key part of the study, loneliness occurred due to the lack of a physical connection and caused major issues in the relationship, as well as affected each individual mentally. Despite this, most of those who had been in a long distance relationship stated that they did not regret getting into the relationship. A student in the study stated that when she ex I experience loneliness when I see other couples around campus holding hands or just spending time together and taking that time for granted. I feel lonely and when I just want the other person to wrap an arm around me and not have to talk about everything. Another student in the study stated, loneliness could be described as a sense of longing for an emptiness. Um, sometimes, I know it's strange, but I almost feel physical pain. These issues are direct, directly affect whether a relationship succeeds or fails. So why do long distance relationship fail? To find out why they fail, we first need to look at each individual. People can have a high or low NA, which is negative affectivity. Those with high NA tend to have neg negative emotions, depression, low self-esteem, and resort to self-protection. Those with low NA have better self-esteem and are not, affected by, are not as affected by emotions and depression. High NA people tend to fail in relationships and can cause poor relational security. These would be people with low NA because they're more positive and they don't wait for the positivity. They create it and spread it. And then these would be high NA people because they are negative, more negative, and they spread their resentment that they have. The high NA in men was associated with breakup for long distance, but not same city couples. High NA in women was not differentially associated with relational stability on the basis of long distance status. Relational security is the trust, faith, support, and optimism you have with your partner. This plays an important role in why long distance relationships fail. High NA people in a long distance relationship cannot handle the physical separation, which, is causes, which causes jealousy and other negative emotions. This leads to poor relational security and eventually ends, to the, makes, ends up failing the relationship. 
That's just one example, but many other reasons can cause a long distance relationship to fail. That's what causes a long distance relationship to fail. But why do some long distance relationships succeed? Some research has shown that long distance relationships compared to close proximity produce higher relationship quality, more love for the partner, less arguments, more positive reminiscences, and better quality communication. When the long distance couples see each other again in person, they also have a higher quality of time together, heightened positive emotions, and heightened sexual response. The repeated separation and reunion, reunion so results in a honeymoon effect. This honeymoon effect continues to improve the quality of the relationship even when they are separated again. This is a timeline of marriage through the years, and this is the honeymoon phase right here. In a long distance relationship, it goes up, and it will go down a little bit, but when they see each other again, then it really goes back up and it continues to have a lasting effect through the relationship. The research has also shown that those in a long distance relationship have more dedication and sacrifice. This causes the partner to positively see the primacy and the value of the relationship. This study concluded that individuals in a long distance relationship in close proximity had a similar number of failed relationships. It also concluded that those in a long distance relationship had a higher number of marriages and a lower chance to break up within the first year. However, looking long term, individuals in a long term distance relationship and a close proximity were just as likely as individuals to break up with their partners. I believe that if you try hard enough, that you can make your relationship last. In conclusion, I've discussed what a long distance relationship is why some fail, and why others succeed. In order to succeed in a long-distance relationship, you must be willing to put in a lot of de dedication and sacrifice. Thank you for your time. This is my reference page.